Hi, I'd like to talk about Xcode again today and continue our discussion of Xcode and Storyboard. So here I am in Xcode, and to get started today, I'm going to talk about the uh, the UI button and UI view. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to click on this Create New Xcode Project button here, and in the Choose Template um, dialog here, I'm going to choose iOS application single view application. I'll click next and name this UI button UI view example and save it into this folder here and maybe I'll replace the existing project with that name. I'd made one of these earlier. And anyway here's here's Xcode and over on the left side here you can see the file editor and if you don't, click on the little folder tab there and you'll see it. And the file we're concerned about right now is main storyboard. And as in the previous discussion, um, main storyboard is the, um, the file that keeps track of your, of your interface. And it defines the interface graphically so you can drag these elements from down here and drop them in here and arrange them. Right? And we talked about a few of these elements, the UI label in particular. And right now, why don't we talk about the UI button? So I'll look at the object inspector here, and uh, you can see there's a bunch of objects there. And I'll find button. And before we do anything else, I'm going to click on the, the image for button here, like the preview of it. And you'll see it opens up this little box here, and it gives you a description of what the button does. Okay, so it says implements a button that intercepts touch events, etc. right? And then it shows you a preview, and it says the name, which is button. And it also says UI button. So that, that UI button right there means that this comes from the UI button class. So all these objects here are actually defined in software. And there's files, you know, just regular code files here like we have here that define all of these. And this UI button comes from the UI button class, okay? And what, why that's important to you is that if you set up the button graphically here and you want to know more about it or you want to deal with that button in code, you can always look up the UI button, you know, definition, you know, in, in the code, you know, for UI button to get more features and understand how the button works, okay? So that's what you'd look up. So anyway, I'm going to drag the button here and drag it onto the screen. And I can resize it and position it, right? And maybe, you know, I have a button here, and then I also want to, let's, let's add a couple other features here. Maybe I want to add a slider because I'm making a home controller, and it'll have a light switch. And maybe the slider right here is a dimmer. And then I'll put this thing here and call this lights, right? And that'll be my, my user interface, okay? And, you know, we can select these elements and drag them around and position them, right? And, um, you know, when I open up the little, let's click this little control here and open up this little sidebar, you'll see sort of a hierarchical view that shows you, like, the structure of all the elements here inside your, your view controller. So this is the view controller here. It's the whole box, right? And then inside that view controller, there's a view and in that view, I have the button, the slider, the switch, and the lights, okay, or the label. Okay, so, so there's my view, and you can see I can, you know, see these things and move them around there, and I can select them here, too. If I click on them, they become selected, you know, in the graphical area here. So this UI view is a view container, and all these other views are built off UI view, and you can create other views, too. So... If I scroll down the list here in the object inspector, you'll see there's a view here. And when I click on the, the picture for it, it gives me the description. And it says that this is from the class UI view. And all of the other views here are built from UI view. So UI view itself, when you drag it onto the screen, is just a, sort of a white box, right? There isn't really much to it. Um, and you can give it a background color if you like. So maybe I'll choose... Uh, you know, red is the background color, right? And there's my UI view, and you can see this says view, and it's, it's the same kind of view that we have here. So every view controller contains a few things, including one view and all the objects that you add 
into the view controller get added to that to the view inside the view controller okay and you can add other views to the view okay so here's the view and it's got another view inside it so what's important about this well you know if you have buttons and things here you can actually drag them and place them inside of another view so you can see when I drag this inside the view here it sort of gets an outline around it to show me that I'm adding the element to that view okay and then I can drag the button around in here and kind of resize it and whatnot and you'll see in this in the sidebar in the hierarchy display there you'll see that the button now exists as you know it's got a little tab here it kind of exists as a child of the view and if I close it you can see the button is inside there okay so that's important because the the view here can be hierarchical so if we select the view element here I can drag it around and you can see the button moves with it okay and actually all of these elements can be inside this view so I can drag the label in here and the light switch right and now I can drag this whole element this could be you know part of my user interface that appears when you tap on an element on the screen and it gives you the light controller and then maybe you can dismiss the light controller by clicking the button down here you know maybe we'll change that to close right and so I can create sort of a group of elements that are all grouped around a view element okay so that's the use of the view there okay and you can do other things with the view too okay but that's one good use for it is you can use it to create a hierarchy of, of elements okay